Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel Ray and today I have a really special unboxing for you. This is from Diamond Art Club and this was meant to be a sneak peek but just due to time restraints I was unable to sneak it for you all so now it's a new release. <laughs> this is a brand new diamond painting from Diamond Art Club. Um, it just released last weekend and this is called Snow Deer. I hope you can see that. Snow Deer by Safina Art. This is from Jojo's Art Little Sister. So this is a square diamond painting, 43 by 59 centimeters. And let's get into it. I'm super excited. I saw this and I was I just fell in love with it because I love Bambi. <laughs> it's one of my favorite Disney films. It's so sad, but um so I'm going to I'm going to share this with you. I hope you don't mind, but you know, because I'm here, I have a really strange filming angle. <laughs> Let me take this out for us. Bear with me one second. Let me see if I can fix this. Okay. I think this will be a little bit better on my back. So, inside the box, this is what we get. This is not changed at all in the past few months. So, this is what you should expect to get. It's a, an inventory list. It shows you all the colors and the symbols. So here you have the symbol that you'll find on the canvas and the corresponding color number. These, are, these color codes are DMC. So they are consistent from picture to picture most of the time, but there can be some variance because of dye lots. Um, but these colors are roughly going to be the same, um, but the symbol is not always going to match that color number. So I hope you know what I mean. Like the number one with this tan color is not always 129. Does that make sense? Anyway, I hope that helps. If you're new to diamond painting, I do hope that helps. So this is what the picture looks like. Isn't it beautiful? I love it so much. Um, and I really like it because I think this one will go quickly. So if you're looking to give this to a friend or something like that once you complete it, um, it shouldn't take you too, too long to finish it. It comes with this little sticker that you can put on the box as well. It comes with a Diamond Art Club toolkit. And in this, you have the clear diamond tray, two plates of heart-shaped wax, the pen, a little squishy for the pen to make it more comfortable, some tweezers, baggies, and a multi-placer as well. And then you get your canvas. The canvas is all wrapped up really nice in this dust bag. Kind of reminds me of a newspaper bag. And inside here we have the diamonds and a, an instruction booklet. And here is the canvas. It's nice and soft on the back. It's very malleable because this is a poured glue canvas. And have a look at this. Hold on one second. Sorry about that. <laughs> I'm not used to having uh, phones going off in my house. So if I can, I'm going to zoom, zoom you out a little bit. There we go. So you can see everything here. This is what the canvas looks like. It's got a lot of what I call color blocking, which is where you have a lot of one symbol in an area. So this will go very quickly if you use multi-placers. However, I would advise that if you're doing white, like this area right here, this is all 3865 because it's snow, you know, snow and ice and everything. I highly recommend that you use the checkerboard method. That is where you kind of, you know, skip one around the each diamond and then go back and fill it in. And, and I do have videos on that. I'll try to link one up here in the eye so that you can watch me doing, doing it in, in real time. But um, it's just because there are shadows on the white drills and it shows when they're not exactly lined up. So if you're intimidated by squares, I'd highly recommend just using the checkerboard method and then those will line up perfectly. But if you're like me and you just like diamond painting for the fun of it and you don't have any, uh, you don't really have any plans to frame them all, um, use a multi-placer. This will go really fast. I'd love to see Mrs. Crochet and Coffee do this painting because it would take her like five minutes. <laughs> I'm just joking. Anyway, this has 30 colors 
and I, I absolutely adore this little Bambi. It is so cute. So, so cute. We have two AB drills, which are Aurora Borealis, and I'll show you what those look like here in a minute. But let me show you what this canvas looks like. So just so that you can see what the drill field is like, I don't see any surprises here. None of the symbols seem to be out of the ordinary or anything like that. And can you see how there's large areas of a single color? Like for example, right here on this side, you can see all the backslash symbol when they're all grouped together like that, it's very easy to finish a section because you don't have to keep changing the drill color over and over again. And we call that confetti when you have that problem. So I think this is gonna look really cute. And again, it's, it's not too big. So I'm gonna bring you back into the normal size <laughs> of the screen. And, um, and I'll show you what the drills look like I, I think that this will be a really nice painting for winter. Oh, I'm so sorry. Really not used to having a telephone going off all the time. So here we go. This up. Make sure to move the phone next time so it's not near us. So it comes packaged with all the drills. You can see all these beautiful colors here. Aren't they gorgeous? There's light blue, mint green, purple, and pink. And then I'll show you the Aurora Borealis colors as well. But let's start with the larger quantities. Whoops. And we'll move into the smaller quantities. So we have 3325. There are three big bags of that. 3755. 775. I love this mint green. It's so pretty. 334. The good cornflower blue. 211. Three big bags. I think that's the backs the backslash symbol over there and over there and over there in the background. 322. 799. 3841 and 210. Gorgeous. And then here we have all of the kind of smaller quantity bags 312, 310, 321, 498. These drills are looking really good too. 803, 133. Here's our first Aurora Borealis diamond. Can you see? how there's a coating on the top that makes it iridescent. It's gonna stand out so that those little accents are gonna make those details pop on the canvas. So I'll show you where they belong here in a moment. 434, 433, got all the browns here. So 898, 938, 823. There's 129, this is another Aurora Borealis diamond a little bit harder to see but you can see how shiny it is it's almost like a mirror so pretty we have 3371 which is actually really dark brown 814 939 435 and there's a big old hunk of plastic in there <laughs> 3853 894 340 and 666 I'm only joking. That's a that's a joke between Miss, me and Mrs. Coffee. <laughs> Why? Wh who at the DMC factory was like, we're gonna make Fire Engine Red six six six? I think that's just showing a sense of humor. <laughs> so let's have a look here on the canvas and see where those Aurora Borealis diamonds go. So the first one is number one on the canvas, and that is the light yellow, and that is in Bambi himself and then also accented in this little bit of wood over here and then the orange AB is actually Bambi's body number two and I'll see is there any other twos on this canvas no so it is just to accent the deer I think that's a great idea 
personally, if I were to go and try to accent a diamond painting without knowing where to put the the drills, the accent, accent drills, I would choose very small details and accent those because it it really does highlight an area and it's just a personal opinion, but I think that if you put ABs all over the canvas, then you would lose the effect of having, you know, um, the AB in the first place. It'll look like a crystal rhinestone kit. I don't know if you've seen those. Um, I'll try to remember to put, put a link up here. I did one once and that was enough for me. <laughs> um, I think my favorite part about this painting is the shadows. So I don't know if you can tell, but um, in the trees here, you can really see the the branches that are underneath the snow. It looks like, you know, the lumps of snow on top of those trees really look real to me. And I, I really do appreciate that. I know that this is hand charted, so um, it's not, it's not like a perfect computer rendering. Some people like the hand charting, some people like the computer generated. I like the hand charting personally. And if there's anything that irks me or bugs me, then I will go and fix it myself. Um, but truthfully, like I really, I really like the shadows and I like how they've played with it. I think you'll be able to, once it's complete and you're not seeing all these symbols, that it's going to be a really beautiful painting. So if you do this painting and you complete it, please tag me on Instagram or on in the Facebook group Crafters Anonymous with Mrs. Crochet and Coffee and Rachel Ray. We are um, sponsored by Diamond Art Club in that group. So sometimes we have like giveaways and things like that. But just remember, if you haven't already joined and you want to, please answer the questions and agree to the rules. If you don't do that, then the moderators will deny the request because there are lots of bots. So please, please, please um, agree to the rules. Read those rules. If you don't agree to them, I'm sorry. But um, it, tag me in the group if you complete this because I do want to see it completed and I'll feature it in an upcoming video if you do it. Um, I would love to know what it looks like. I wish I had the time to do it right now but it is gorgeous. I'd love to know what you think. Please let me let me know down below in the comment section what you think. I will have a link to this painting in the description box of this video so if you're interested in purchasing it have a look. Um, just full disclosure, it is an affiliate link. So if you are new to Diamond Art Club and you've never purchased from them before, then I earn a small commission for that. But if you've already shopped with them before, then it it, it doesn't do anything. <laughs> so um, if you have any questions, please leave them down, down below. And I hope that you enjoy the rest of your day. Stay safe out there. Take care. And I'll talk to you soon. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys.